In terms of targets, if you are early stage, what is looking particularly compelling in this region? Uh, thanks for having me. I think there's three, four segments. Um, the fintech market is a $250 billion spend in Southeast Asia alone. And 85% is going to uh, banks and insurance. And 15% of that is in embedded finance. I think that segment is going to double. Um, you, know, you go to a doctor, they sell you a specific insurance uh, based on your, your, your predicament. Um, you, know, uh, you, you do supply chain financing for B2B logistic companies. I think that, that figure is going to grow up, grow, grow significantly. Uh, and that's a half a trillion dollar market cap opportunity. The second wave we see is this um, using generative AI and AI uh, having ultra personalized solutions in terms of lending products, in terms of uh, stock picking, uh, stock, suggest, uh, stock recommendations. Um, the third one that we see actually very interesting in Southeast Asia is uh, what we call a China 2.0. Um, used to be the case where Chinese founders uh, set up a shop in Southeast Asia as a you know, Southeast Asia uh, office. But now we see Chinese founders reincorporate their company in Singapore with some Chinese engineers and some Chinese shareholders but targeting, targeting the world. I think that opens up a whole uh, new breadth uh, of investment menu for us. Right. Um, you've identified a lot of these very interesting, exciting uh, growth uh, vectors for Insignia Ventures and the VC world here in Southeast Asia. But as you mentioned, um, they've called it a VC winter of some sorts, where you folks are becoming a lot tighter actually deploying your capital. Of this $516 million that you raised in August of last year, how much of it have you deployed thus, if you, if you if don't mind me asking? Yeah, I think we have to think about it in sort of two segments. I think for the earlier stage, things continue to be fast and furious. Um, we are investing in people, ideas. That their vision, their concepts, um, you know, the 1% to 5% interest rate change doesn't really matter if you are growing 20, 30, 40% year on year. So for that earlier segment, you know, we continue to back founders very actively. I think for the uh, post series B later stage, I think that's a different story. Um, we're starting to see capital become more selective uh, on quality over quantity. I think if you look at our data, we see that the average median series B valuations, which was uh, 200 million at the peak of 2022, is now less than 100 or about 50% cut. Um, so I think we're starting to see um, very, uh, companies that were funded 12, 24 months ago um, start to go out to the market to raise capital. And actually, that for us, there's no better time to invest. I think the next 12, 18 months is going to be a great uh, time to partner with companies, great founders with great modes and the right valuations. So I think that's, uh, that's sort of how we are looking at it at two spectrums.